So right now, Ms. Douglas and Ms. Ninehouse are currently hosting a free, no pressure, blind date in the library. A dating service here at Saint? How do I sign up? All you have to do is head down to the library, talk to Ms. Uh, Douglas and Ms. Ninehouse, where you can browse your options, pick out a date, and every single time that you do this, you will be able to donate a loonie to either Mr. Watkins' garden project or Ms. A's food program. And after that, if you return and rate your date, you will be able to donate an extra dollar on top of that. So I can have a cozy, low-pressure date and show some love to Miss A and Mr. Watkins by supporting their projects. Sounds fun and easy. I'll go to the library for sure. All right. Sounds good. Thank you for listening to our announcement. Perfect. That sounds great, guys. And good morning, St. Mary's. Thank you for joining me for our Ash Wednesday prayer service. At this time, I do ask that you put your phone down, take the next 15 to 20 minutes or so to have some quiet, reflective time. Don't allow your phone to be a distraction to you. And be attentive and respectful to those around you during this time. Today is the first day of Lent, a 40-day period when we as Catholic Christians spend in prayer, fasting, and almsgiving as a way to recognize Jesus' time that he spent in the desert as we also prepare for Easter. Ash Wednesday, the first day of Lent, is a day of repentance as we acknowledge ourselves as sinners and try to do better moving forward. On Ash Wednesday, we place ashes on our forehead. These ashes are meant to be a sign of the sins in our life that we need to turn away from. The ashes are placed in the shape of a cross to symbolize that even
even in our times of sin, Jesus is saying we still belong to him. Jesus claims our heart and takes away our sin. So the ashes say, I'm a sinner. I'm not always the person I should be. But the cross is saying, I have a savior. That there's a God who so fully believes in me to become the person I have been created to be. Let's now begin our prayer service together with our opening song, Break Every Chain. Swing wide Oh, sufficient sacrifice So freely given Such a price by our redemption Heaven's gates Swing wide observance of Lent with the placing of ashes on our foreheads. As you watched over Jesus in his 40 days in the desert, be with us during these 40 days as we prepare to celebrate Easter. May our works of kindness, our prayers, and our fasting help us to be ready for the great feast of your son's resurrection. We pray this through Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Render your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. And he relents from punishing. Who knows whether the Lord will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering to be presented to the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the walls and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord weep. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the people, where is their God? Then the Lord became jealous of his land and had pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The response is, Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Restore me to the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ. Since God is making his appeal through us, we entreat you on behalf of Christ. Be reconciled to God as we work together with him. We urge you to also not accept the great we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For the Lord says, at an acceptable time I have listened to you. And on the day of salvation, I have helped you. See, now it is an ac the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to the Lord. Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces, so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head, and wash your face, so that your fasting may, may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. What is Ash Wednesday? Ash Wednesday is the beginning of Lent, the weeks leading up to Easter where we focus on returning to God. In the first reading, the prophet Joel writes that the Lord calls to us. 
God says, return to me with your whole heart. What does this mean? Well, sin separates us from God. We all sin and separate ourselves from God by putting other things before Him. We love TV and chocolate cake and good grades, and these are all good. But we should not make these things the most important in our hearts, when really, the most important thing in our lives should be God. We are called to love the Lord our God above all things, but we often think about other things more than Him. That's why we are separated from God and need to return to Him, because He loves us so much and He wants to be close to us. During Lent, we are called to repent. Repent means to think about our sin, to feel sorry, and to ask God for forgiveness. The cross on our foreheads on Ash Wednesday is a symbol of our repentance. God welcomes us back because He is so in love with us. To be with Him, we are called to change how we act and how we think. In today's Gospel, Jesus calls us to do good deeds for God. But we shouldn't be good just so that other people will think we are really nice people. No, Jesus said that we should do good so that God will see and God will reward us. This Lent, let's repent, tell God that we are sorry for our sins, and come back to Him by doing good. Responses, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We pray for the church. May all its members turn to the Lord in prayer and in a spirit of repentance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for our world leaders. May our global political and religious leaders always act in ways that best serve the poor and disenfranchised. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for those affected by the war in Palestine and Israel, the war in Ukraine, and in all other war-torn places, areas of the world. May our world be a place of peace and safety for everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for our planet. May we take up God's call to be stewards of the earth and take greater care of conserving our natural resources. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for our St. Mary's community. May we be faithful to prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, so that we may experience the grace and love of God during this time of Lent. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And now let us join all the prayers we have spoken and the prayers in our hearts with the prayer of Jesus using the words he gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God our Father, you formed us from the dust of the earth and brought us to new life in Christ through the waters of baptism. We ask you to change our hearts as we journey through these 40 days of Lent, Help us to see Jesus in everyone we meet and to serve him in all persons, especially the poor, the sick, and the lonely. By your grace, may our prayers and sacrifices this Lent help us grow closer to each other and to you as one family in Jesus. We make this prayer to you in his name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And St. Mary's, before we uh, get to our closing song, I do want to mention that uh, we will be distributing ashes following to, uh, today's service, immediately following after the service. Uh, you can leave class and head on down to the chapel uh, to receive ashes. Ashes is not just something for Catholic students. All, all 
students, all people, um, are uh, allowed to receive ashes on Ash Wednesday. So if this is something you are interested in and participating in, please make your way down to the chapel following our closing song this morning. Um, also, I want to take um, a moment to say a big thank you to Mr. Reitzel's grade 9, 10 religion students, uh, Maya Regalis, Mr. Lacey, and our tech team for offering prayer for us today. And now for our closing song, Ashes. Oh, 